Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, now I'm going to do the um, my video for the top five games of uh, 2012. I didn't do a top ten because, um, to be honest with you, I didn't have that many games really like wild me that much. I had a lot of good games as I showed in the previous video, but these are uh, these five are uh, pretty much which the games that really uh, kind of impressed me this year. Uh, I guess I'll save the, the my favorite game of the year for last. These first four, they're not really in order of, um, you know, one's better than other, but just uh, I just do the first four for whatever reason. But uh, some of them, you know, you might be maybe a little shocked about, but, you know, like they say it is what it is, right? So first one is a 3DS game, Mario Tennis Open, and... Um, you might be asking yourself why why is this game uh, so great? What it what what did it do to make you uh, put it on your list? Well, I played all the Mario Tennis games, and uh, I think what this one got it right. I actually reviewed it. There's a uh, a video review on my channel. It gives a little more detail, but um, I just like the fact that they were able to take this game and um, make it more of arcadey, but yet. A sim at the same time, which I thought was incredible. I had a, you know a lot of fun with this game. I mean, my, I just remember going to work and my thumb actually hurting from the buttons. I played it so much. There hasn't been a game done that to me in a long time. And I played online a little bit. Online was laggy, but I had fun. I'll definitely be going back to it and trying harder, uh, the harder modes. But awesome game. If you're on the fence about getting this game, you know, get it. It's just great. 3D looks incredible too, by the way. And the next game um, is uh, Sleeping Dogs. I hear a lot of people talk about they're not really sure whether or not they should pick this game up, but I was on the same. I was on the fence too. I was kind of like, well, you know, it's a Square Enix game, which should be a clue right there. And this game's been in development for like years and going through a couple different developers, and so I was kind of um. Weary was on the fence, but I liked um, the previous game. It's not a sequel or anything, but the, I think the last developers made uh, that Chow Young Fat Stranglehold, which I liked a lot. But this game, the story and the characters are just incredible, man. I mean, they're they're really great. Some you don't see that much anymore. They kind of caught the I think the Hong Kong side of things. But uh, highly recommend a game. A lot of fun. The melee combat I actually thought was going to get, you know, kind of old and boring. But the game did a great job of dividing up the gameplay to where you're not just going around fighting people constantly. It would give you a break and throw in a good shooting mission here. And they didn't, you know, the shooting missions weren't really easy. And they just, the pacing in this game was perfect. I thought it kept me interested. I played it, for, you know, like three days straight to beat it. The ending was really, really good, surprisingly, you know. I thought it was going to be a cliffhanger, but it turned out to be great. Highly recommend a game. One of the best i played all year. The next game is another game I don't think a lot of people heard of. Binary Domain. I think it's on a 360 as well. Well, so is Sleeping Dogs. but uh, um, This game kind of went under my radar. I, I remember hearing about it. But, uh, you know, you start mentioning um, third-person shooters, robots. I'm kind of like, you know, all right, we've been there, done that plenty of times. But the story and character development really uh, brought this game um, kind of to life and uh, really made a good impression on me. You actually, you actually make choices on what characters you want to take on your team, and that affects the outcome of the game. And uh, I had an all-female team, which um, the females will comment on why you picked an all-female team. I thought that was pretty funny, actually. That's never happened to me before. You know, you pick like two teammates. I had to pick both females, so the cutscene goes into the actual game, and the two women turn around and look at you and start making comments of why you picked women behind your team. I actually thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> I never had to happen to me before, so they'll kind of call you a couple names while you picked all females on your team. So I just thought it was funny. You know, there's little neat little things in the game about that. You could tell they put a lot of time into it. So highly recommended. Combat's a blast. It's kind of challenging. But, uh, you know, I loved it, man. Awesome game. Glad I played it. I'm hoping for a sequel because the end of this game just kind of leaves it wide open. In another game, um, I never thought I'd be saying this. 
or this type of game would be in my um, you know, top five for the year. It would be Sonic All Stars Race and Transform. I know um, the guy I talked to, Olympia. Sorry, man, I can't make the last name. Olympia, something. He's got his channel. I'll put a link below. But this is actually in his top ten too. I couldn't believe it, man. But yeah, man, this game is just so much fun, you know. I picked it up my Wii U at launch. I, I liked the last Sonic Transforms. It was good. I'm tired of Mario Kart. Mario Kart's the same shit every year. This not every year, but every every uh, new copy or series. But this game is just so much fun, man. It is. It's just incredible. I'm like playing the shit out of it, you know. I'm like trying to unlock characters. I actually unlocked my me, which is funny. Now I got I can race with my me. So it's pretty highly, highly recommended game. A lot of fun. I mean, if you got brothers, sisters, you know, you're playing with, man, get this game, dude. You got to. I mean, it's on the other other uh, consoles as well, but the Wii U gamepad to me was like built for racing games. It's just perfect. Just fits in your hands, perfect, man. You just you don't even know it's there. I mean, that's how it, that's what it feels like to me. I don't even, I forget I'm even holding the gamepad, but perfect. And my 2012 game of year is no surprise. I mean, you know, everybody besides the media, the big gaming websites, the view sites, who I pretty much think are pure garbage anyway. Most of them, 90 percent of them, don't even talk about this game. You know, it's actually their fault. You know, I mean, let's face it, It's this is my game of the year, Xenoblade Chronicles. You know, I mean, let's face it, it came out right when the Wii, Wii was dying for whatever reason. So I don't really don't think they're going to push this game for this game of the year because it's not going to sell Xbox 360s or PS3s. But this game is just, to, my, to me, it was incredible. You know, it's, it's I love playing it, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad um, because it's going to be, this is a game, it's, it's the last of its kind. You'll never ever see a game like this come out again on a console. You're talking fifty dollar price tag and your single player campaign, 80, 90 hours plus. I mean, come on, man. I mean, it's that's not gonna happen anymore, man. I hate to break the news to you guys, but uh the shit ain't. So incredible soundtrack, um, great gameplay, combat system. Once you get a, you know used to it, you're gonna be kicking ass, so you know, if you get a Wii, or the, I recommend this game to buy a Wii just to play it. That's how good it is. I'm sure you heard it over and over and over, but it just is, man. I mean, just I was just constantly wowed by this game. I still got to finish it. My actually, I don't have a TV right now. I just have a, a monitor that doesn't have sound. So, but uh, I'm like 88 hours into it now. I'm right at the very end, I think. So, highly, highly recommended. Definitely deserves Game of the Year. Um, you know, what else can I say? So that's it guys, you got any questions, feel free, comments, it's all good, thanks.